Daddy! <laughs> Is that your dad? No. I'm oh. <laughs> I was going to say, he's so young looking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I went out looking everywhere for the nude pictures, and then I found out I overheard the conversation wrong. It was nude photos on the television show. Yeah, well, Tell us about that episode. Um, well, Anne, Anne Matheson, the character that I play on Knott's Landing, um, uh, kind of got her just desserts, as many of the fans would think, and, and she ended up homeless at the end of the season. Um, but she's from a very aristocratic East Coast blue blood family, and... Um, and uh, so she decides that, the, that a way for her to get out of this predicament that she's in is to take some nude photographs and, and sell them to a glossy woman's magazine. Mm. And, and it does the trick, gets her off the streets, and, yeah. and they ended up in uh, GQ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, would you ever do that in real life? No. Uh, I never have. Mm -hmm. um, but... Uh, but when you take nude photographs, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, and I took them for the show, yeah. uh, there, they, there's always the chance that they're going to end up someplace that you have not authorized them to end up. Yeah. And that's what happened. But they're kind of okay, you know. Oh, I yeah, because they, they kind of hide things. Yeah, I mean, they're very, they're very uh, you know. Tasteful. <laughs> very tasteful. Art, have you ar ever... artsy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever gotten an offer? Yes, Playboy asked me to uh, do a shoot. And you obviously said no. How much money do they offer when that happens? I never even got to that stage. I just said no. I, 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 because I do think that there's something uh, a little uh, cheesy and degrading about women posing for men's magazines. Yeah. Um, yeah I think that in, in, in this day and age, you know, uh, that we have become aware enough about our... Um, our power as as women that uh, that uh, that is becoming less and less a source of our power, you know, uh, to to use our our feminine wiles. And but I thought it was very funny, actually. Uh, I, I I forget who did this, but the oh, it was on 60 Minutes, and mm -hmm. um, uh, they were saying, you know, women really are fighting for their rights and fighting for equality and fighting to not be uh, looked on as sex objects. And then he looked through the, through the paper while he was doing this, and every single ad mm -hmm. was a woman in either a bra, panties, or, or uh, a skimpy bathing suit. Uh, so we're really not that far away from it now, yeah. now that I think about it. Wow. Um, see, this might surprise a lot of people coming from you because you've always been known as being this very open, maybe even wild lady. Um, you are open, though. You, you know, they have a controversy going on right now with condoms and children. You openly left condoms around your house uh, when your girl was growing up. Mm -hmm. Talk about that a little. Well, my daughter and my goddaughter, uh, uh, who was also living with me, were both sexually active, and I just said, uh, uh, at that time, it wasn't even an issue of AIDS. It was uh, a pregnancy issue, and uh, and uh, and venereal disease. And uh, I raised China, I guess, and Dailin in the same way that I was raised myself. My um, when I was a young girl, my father said, "When you become sex sexually active, let me know, and uh, so that you can, uh, so that we can arrange." Uh, you know, for you not to get pregnant. So I was raised that way. I was raised in a very pragmatic family. Mm -hmm. And I believe that, uh, uh, you know, if you know that your children are sexually active, then you have to uh, uh, try to protect them. Yeah. yeah. Um, for, uh, for those of you who don't know, China, of whom she speaks, is uh, one of the talented ladies in the pop group Wilson Phillips. And my little darling. <laughs> um, do you think being open like you are, being the renaissance woman that you are, is the reason you've attracted these high-profile men like Warren Beatty, oh, shush. Jack Nicholson? <laughs> I mean, what, what, is, what happened? I mean, I'm sure they're ladies. Warren Beatty, Jack Nicholson, Dennis Hopper for three days, right? <laughs> uh, actually, we were married for eight. You were married for eight days? Yeah. See, y'all thought I was making that up. I knew, I knew it wasn't long. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that that um, that intelligent men like um, uh, independent women. Mm -hmm. I was raised to be very independent, and I was raised to believe that I could do anything I wanted with my life. Uh, I, I could. I could be a doctor, or a lawyer, or I could be a housewife, or I could do anything I wanted. My father said that I was lucky to be born a woman because women can do anything they want with their lives. Of course, I didn't realize until a little later that my father was giving me a slightly uh, <laughs> unrealistic yeah. uh, view, but I think that, that giving me that gave me a lot of confidence and, uh, and uh, a lot of personality. He always loved me a lot, and he always told me how great he thought I was. Yeah, what did I, mom do? My mother died when I was very young. Uh -huh. I was five when and, my mother died. And so I was raised by my father. And, uh, and we lived in Mexico City. Well, we went there when I was six and stayed there until I was 12. And I went to Mexican schools and, um, and, uh, and learned how to speak Spanish. And, and um, I, my father went to, to college during that period. And he was studying sociology. So it was a very interesting childhood. Yeah. We'll take a commercial and come right back with more Michelle Phillips. <laughs> I toasted for you and Dennis Hopper, and it was like, what? <laughs> uh, you were involved in the music business during a period when we lost a lot of great ones. How did you escape? the drug culture that was going on then? Well, uh, or, or I should I, say okay. death. Yeah, yeah, how did I escape death? That's a good question. <laughs> no, but I'll tell you, there's a very good reason. I was, uh, I was very well educated about drugs mm -hmm. when I was young. My father was a probation officer for juvenile hall, and we talked about these things a lot. I knew the dangers of, uh, of, of drugs uh, like heroin, Mm -hmm. and cocaine. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I knew more about cocaine. I, I knew everything about cocaine 20 years before I ever saw it. Yeah. Um, I, I always wanted my life. That was my, the central issue for me. I wanted a career. I wanted my, my children. Uh, and uh, drugs was not the, uh, dr drugs was not the, 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 the primary interest in my life. Um, and I, I took LSD, I, I smoked uh, pot, and, uh, but I never got into heavy, uh, addictive drugs. And they're probably laughing it's, because it's, I, I, and I, I, I'm laughing inside too, because I thought LSD was very addictive. It's not addictive at all. It's, oh, okay. it's very strong, but it's not a very addictive drug in the sense that you, when you take it, you, wanna, you want more. Yeah. Uh, it's not like cocaine. <laughs> it's not like it's not like crack. It's not like heroin. Like you know, like you get it, you have a craving for it. Um, I, I think it's, it's funny to say you, it's not addictive. You just want more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, right. I'm not addicted. <laughs> <laughs> I just need more. Right. I know it's not addictive. I've been doing this for 30 years, and I know it's not addictive. <laughs> exactly. Well, knowing, knowing the pitfalls of this business, did you discourage China? Well, no, actually. Uh, she, China was growing up in, in, in the drug, you know, uh, culture. Mm -hmm. um, I just tried to educate her about what these drugs would do to her. I think I gave her the same advice that my father gave me. Never try heroin and, you know, and be careful about this cocaine because, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's, well, he said it. <laughs> I know, bad host. <laughs> and I just tried to, uh, 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 make sure that she knew what she was getting herself into. If you're going to be, be doing that stuff, uh, you better know what the consequences are. And, uh, you know, to th today, China is a, uh, has decided to never do drugs and to not drink. She doesn't drink or smoke, you know. She's, uh, she's the purest of the pure. And she, all she wants is a life. She wants a life that's full and happy. And that doesn't include drugs. Yeah. You have two sons also, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have a nine. Oh, I'm sorry. They were about Go to ahead. clap. Yeah. Clap, clap, clap. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Two sons? 
I have um, a nine-year-old, Austin Hines, and I have a 10-year-old, Aaron Wilson. Um, Aaron uh, is our adopted son. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, it's this a whole new ball game, boys. Yeah. Still got condoms around the house, just more boxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they get theirs, too. Uh, you, know, you know what's interesting about this whole condom issue and you? Uh, you were on Fox's Late Show a long time ago, and you got in trouble for the statements you made on condoms. Yeah. And the irony is Fox is the only network Isn't now I I love it. that is love airing it. condom commercials. Oh, boy. I couldn't... I, I, I went to a party after... It was on the Joan Rivers show. Mm -hmm. And uh, after... And I had talked about condoms, and in fact... I think the thing that really pissed them off was when I pulled one out of my purse and said, don't leave home without it. <laughs> uh, they, uh, so I went to a party uh, a, a couple of weeks later, and there are these, the two big guys at the network, the guy who owns it and the, and this, and the uh, president of, of the network. Yeah. And they were furious with me. How dare you? How dare you do that on our network? You'll never be on our, sh our network again. And I said, what? You guys are joking, right? This is a late night show, mm -hmm. and I can't discuss condoms. And they said, "How? You you'll never work on our network again. And now this is the one network that, uh, well, you know, maybe they learned something over the last few years. You, you were know? just ahead of your... You make